It's a great day for me because I think I finally found my soulmate. I don't mean S-O-U-L, although I did find that too. I know that sounds ridiculous, so why am I calling it that? Because like a true soulmate, the new Addy Zero Boston 12 just makes my life flow. It's got so many other qualities I've been looking for in a running shoe and some things that still surprise me. And when you do find that special shoe, you just want to tell the whole world about it. So let's slip into it. I wanted to get this review out way earlier, but I've been struggling with a little bit of runner's knee. The problem is my body's no spring chicken, but my brain thinks otherwise. But that's the journey of running, isn't it? Like Kipchoge says, marathon is life. We play the long game, and the important thing is we keep evolving and we never give up. That's also what a good soulmate does, like the Boston 12. How is that you're asking? Let me explain. Full disclosure, I have never run in any of the previous versions of the Boston. Judging from all the info out there, the Boston has been a great shoe in the past. It's a long distance training shoe that was very versatile and could do many different things. Then it hit a rough patch with the past couple of versions, but it didn't give up. It evolved. Now the new Boston is fully recovered and it's even better than before. That's why this version 12 has a special place in my heart because it feels like we've both gone through the similar ups and downs in the past. But by no means is this shoe perfect. There are a couple of things that need improvement, much like myself. And of course, a tiny little quirk that keeps things interesting. So stay with me till the end. Let's start with the good. This bright yellow with the black stripes looks dope. I always love the Adidas design. Even though the mid to forefoot is flared to give it a more stable feel, it doesn't look clunky like some of the other high stack shoes. As you can see, it's streamlined and it looks fast. Sometimes Adidas can fit a little narrow, but not these. There's plenty of room in the toe box for your feet to wiggle around and breathe. Speaking of breathing, this engineered mesh upper is extremely light and airy. I didn't have any hot spots during my runs. Now let's talk about sizing. Fit, I think, is always relative, even when it comes to my own two feet. I would say these shoes run true to size if I only went by my left foot. My right foot is a whole nother issue. My left foot is a true size 8.5, whereas my right foot is closer to a size 8. I always end up catering to my left foot because I'd rather have a little bit more room on my right foot than no room at all on my left. Does that make sense to you? Do you guys also have the same problem if one foot is bigger than the other? Let me know in the comments below if you guys do the same thing I do so that I don't feel like a complete freak out here. Now the midsole on this Boston 12 is fantastic. It's got a nice thick layer of Adidas Best Foam called Light Strike Pro on top of a redesigned EVA foam that they're calling Light Strike 2.0. They work so well together, I hardly notice a difference in the density or responsiveness. It just works great. Maybe it has to do with the fiberglass rods that run the full length of the shoe. That could be the reason why the foam feels so uniform. Here's what I mean by that. This is my first experience with this combination type of foam. And for me, the best way to describe it is that it doesn't just absorb the pressure in that one point where the foot makes contact with the foam. Instead, it spreads out the pressure and displaces it over a wider area. To me, that makes the experience feel uniform and very bouncy. It really felt like I was rolling through my strides with ease. There were so many times when it felt easier to go faster without even thinking about it. I thought I was running like 10 and a half minute miles and then I look at my watch and I was closest to nine and a half minutes. It feels so effortless, like it was just meant to be. Unfortunately with my injury, I haven't been able to do any long runs, but I'm really looking forward to it and I'm sure it's going to be a really good experience. And finally, the outsole is continental rubber, which is super tacky and durable as always. And it makes the shoe feel very nimble for its size and weight. Because of all these great qualities, the Boston 12 really is my soulmate of the year. However, the shoe isn't perfect, like I said, but I'll get into that later. First, let's talk about the stats. Here they are. The step and feel of these shoes is decent, nothing too special. Honestly, the first few steps I took in these shoes was a little bit uncomfortable. It felt like I had a couple of dried out blocks of sponge attached to the bottom of my feet. Kind of like the foam blocks you use in yoga. But literally within a few minutes, it feels very flexible and responsive. The combination of the two foams and the glass fiber rods really spring my feet forward. The only other shoe I can personally compare it to is the Puma DV8 Nitro 2. That has a full carbon fiber plate in the middle, but the foam is a little different. It feels squishier, so to me, it feels a little bit less stable. On the other hand, the Boston 12 feels solid, almost too solid until you break it in. I just really like how the Boston feels. Every time I lace up the shoes, it feels like I'm training for a race. That isn't the case at the moment, but soon, hopefully. I've really had enjoyable and purposeful runs every time I wore these shoes. And the cherry on top is that the upper is made from 50% recycled materials. That's a huge amount, but it doesn't feel plasticky at all. Those are all the amazing characteristics of the Boston 12. But like I said, no one shoe or person is perfect, right? That isn't the definition of a soulmate. So where does the Boston 12 really need improvement? Truthfully, the only issue I had was with the lacing system. 
The lace rings, because they're thick, they make the laces run on top of each other instead of at an angle. So it's kind of difficult to just grab your fingers and pull them tight. It really forces me to pay attention to something that I don't normally even think about. But because I'm consciously thinking of the task, it's become sort of a ritual now. So now tying my shoelaces is that moment of making a full commitment to the run I'm about to do. In short, I changed my attitude about it and it works for me now. I did get a little bit of heel lift on my right foot. Maybe it's because my right foot is a little bit smaller than my left. I don't know, but that was an easy fix. I started using a runner's knot and it totally solved the problem. It created a super snug feeling over the top of my foot and because the shoe is light enough, it felt like they were glued to the bottom of my feet. They felt like they were part of my body, if you know what I mean. And they just disappeared on the foot. The tongue is a simple thin piece of fabric and it's not gusseted, but it's got these two extra pieces of fabric attached on either side that connect to the lace rings. So when you have the laces tied, your feet feel like they're really locked in. One final comment. Remember that little quirk I was talking to you about earlier? Everybody kind of digs on this little fox here, this little tab on the back of the shoe, but I kind of like it. It's like the collar on your shirt, you know, when you're feeling a little bit spunky, you can pop it up if you want. It's also a unique solution for pulling on your shoes, and it's not entirely utilitarian. You think this is the German way of saying we can be cool too? Overall, I think this is a fantastic super trainer, and that's why I'm going out and calling it my soulmate of the year. The ride is very smooth and stable, it can go fast when you want it to, and it can also just cruise along. It's a solid and dependable shoe with several gears, which makes it extremely versatile. This shoe is worthy of being called a Boston. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you get a chance to check out the Boston 12 sometime soon. You won't be disappointed, I promise you. You may even find it to be your soulmate as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you can get notified of my future videos. I'll see you again more regularly from now on. Until then, ride or run, Let's get it done.